Hello everyone, welcome back to Angelina's Creations. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to customize your own party plates. You're gonna see how easy this is, so let's get started. First thing that you're going to do is open up your software. I have Silhouette Business Edition. You are going to need Business Edition if you want to save your item as a PNG. I have a link down below if you want to purchase Business Edition. Business Edition is a one-time payment and usually you could get it cheaper from Swing Design. Um, I am affiliated with them, so if you do use my link, I do get a small commission. Also, number one question is, do I need a cutting machine to use this software? And the answer is no, you do not need a cutting machine. And actually, for this project that we're going to do today, you're not even printing at home. So no cutting machine. Also, if you want to use Basic Edition, Basic Edition is free. But I highly recommend getting Business Edition. All right, guys, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is set up your document. In your first icon on your right, it looks like a paper. That is the page setup. Where it says media size, I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on 8 by 11 because I want my paper to be 8 by 11. Then where it says transparency, I have mine on zero. Some people have it on 100 because they like to see the grid. I like my transparency on zero. Then on my left, on my shapes, I'm going to grab the oval shape. And I'm going to make any size oval on my screen. And while my oval is selected, right here on the top, it says width. I'm going to type 8.25 and enter. And then on my height, I'm going to type 8.25 and enter. That is the size that I'll be using. I'm going to color this black so you're able to see it on the screen. Now, depending on the theme that you're going to do, you're going to go grab your images from Etsy, Creative Fabrica, design bundles, wherever you get your images from, even Google. I am going to go to Google and I am going to look up sunny sky background clip art, right? That's what I typed. Then I clicked on images and then I'm going to scroll down to see which one I like. I like this one. Then I am going to right click, copy image, go into silhouette, right click and paste it. You have the zoom in and out button up here. So I'm going to zoom out. It is the plus sign and the minus sign. I'm going to zoom out. And while my image is selected, I'm going to right click and send to the back so I can see the circle that we made. And using the little rectangles, I'm just going to make this image smaller. Then I'm going to zoom in. And just keep making everything smaller exactly where I want everything to be then I'm gonna click here on my screen drag my mouse to select both I'm gonna go on my right where it says modify your modify panel looks like a rectangle with a circle and I'm gonna click on crop and there you have it I cropped this circle in there oh and I'm um, my bad before I do this because I do want to put a background on it so I'm actually going to unselect this, right click and paste that image here again. And I actually want a chevron colorful background. I'm going to click on one, the one that I like, right click, copy image, go into silhouette right click and paste and extended i'm going to select them both and crop it while it's cropped i'm going to click on this circle i'm going to go to my offset panel looks like the double star on my right and i'm going to click on internal offset and i am going to play with the distance here on how far or in you would like it to be When I like how it looks, I'm just going to go to my fill panel and I'm going to actually color it black so you can see it. Now this image, that's the one that I want to have on the internal circle. Remember, and I send this image to the back. So I'm going to click on the image, click on the black, click on the image, hold down my shift key and click on the black circle. So both of them are selected. Remember, I didn't do this. I didn't select everything. I only selected the background, hold my shift key, click on the middle circle, 
go to my modify panel and click on crop all right so now i have this right here now my images i looked up coco melon png and then i clicked on images you're going to click on the one that you would like now png images are transparent background images it doesn't have no background in the back and you know it's a png image because you will see it has gray and white rectangles in the back now these images you can now right click and copy because if you right click and copy the image and go into Salua and paste it it will come in with a black background so you need to make sure that you save your png images so you're going to right click save image and then save it to your folder then you're going to go into silhouette you're going to go to file you're going to go to merge and you're going to look for the image that you saved you're going to click on it because if you have the newest version of silhouette it automatically chases for you so you need to make sure you remove that outline color all you have to do is go to your outline panel it's called line styles under your fill panel that looks like a paint palette so the line style is three lines the first line is like a dotted line anyways right here you're going to click the color you're going to click on no color you are going to add this image to wherever you want it to be And actually that Chevron image, I don't like it. So we're going to add another one. Add your image where you want it to be. To type your words, then you're going to go to your A on your left, then your A on your right. Click on the font that you would like. You can download free fonts from thefont.com. I have a whole separate video on how to download fonts. Now, before you download fonts, make sure that your software is completely closed. After you download the font, then you can open up your software and all your fonts should be there. You're going to click somewhere on your screen and then you're going to start typing. Actually, I'm going to color it black so you can see it. All right. I want this word to have a little bit of a curve. So how do you curve your um, words? You need to make sure that you have everything typed the way that you want it and you are using the font that you want. If you don't want this font, you could click back on your words, go back to your A on your right and click any of the fonts that you have there. After you curve it, you can no longer change the font. So make sure you have the correct font that you want. So I'm going to unselect it. I'm going to click on this circle and I'm going to duplicate it so I can have it here. I'm going to right click and bring to the front my word. And... Then I'm going to double click my font and then you're going to see like a little cross pops up. Make that cross touch the circle and you will see it's going to curve. All right. You could put it in the inside. You can put it on the outside. All right. So I like it right there. Then you're going to unselect it. Click somewhere on your screen. Click back your font. Right click and click make compound path and you're able to move this. All right. Now, I want these words to uh, match the colors of the Coca Melon font. So I'm actually going to right click and release compound path. As you can see, I lost the um, middle of the O and the middle of the E. But all you got to do is select everything 
and go to your modify panel and click subtract all then unselect everything click the middle of the o click delete on your keyboard click the middle of the e and click delete on your keyboard oh no that didn't subtract so i gotta do it again there you go now i'm gonna go to my fill panel it looks like a paint palette i'm gonna click on the z then i'm gonna click on the dropper in my paint palette and i'm going to click on the purple from coco melon then i'm gonna click on the o click on the dropper click on the blue click on the e and repeat the same steps once everything's like that i'm going to select everything right click and group it together now i have these words there and I am going to remove that outline color. And actually, I'm going to put a white outline around all this. So I'm going to be on the outline panel, click on the color white. And where it says thickness on your line, I'm going to bring it up to maybe a... three like that all right so i'm gonna go back to the a on my left a on my right and type another thing unselected to get off the edit mode i'm gonna go to my outline panel and go up just a tad bit and color it black and the color i'm gonna click on my dropper on the fill panel and I'm going to color it orange. And actually, I'm going to use the darker orange. Okay, back on my A and type the number two, click on it. I'm going to color this one yellow. And my outline color, going to go up to a three and color it white. Once you're satisfied on how it looks, you're going to click here on your screen, drag your mouse over everything, right click and group it together. Make sure that this is right in the center of your page. And how do you do that is select your circle, go to your transform panel, and it's going to have a center. The first one is center to page and the other one is just center so i'm going to click center to page so everything's in the center then once you're satisfied you're going to go to file you're going to go to save as save to hard drive where it says save as type i'm going to go where it says png remember you need to have business edition to save this as a png and then i'm going to go to my cocoa melon and i'm going to type Coco melon plate as you can see i already have it here and then once you name it you're going to click on ok all right and then it's going to say if you want it to have a transparent background i click the box and put save all right i'm not going to save it because i already have it made once you have all that saved you are going to go to shing dings you're going to go to google and you're going to go to the website So the website is S-H-I-N-D-I-G-Z. You're going to click on it. Then you are going to go where it says party supplies. And you are going to go where it says personalized tableware.
then it's going to say photo dinner plates. You're going to pick the package that you want. I ordered 48 of them. Then you're going to click customize it. As you can see, it's already here, but hold on. Um, I'm going to put start over because I already had ordered it. You are going to remove this text because you don't need that text. I'm going to put images and background. Upload your photo. Then you're going to here put choose file. You're going to go to your folder that you saved it at. Click on open. Click I accept and upload file. You're going to center this as much as you can. Then you're going to click continue. And you're going to see if you like everything. And then you're going to put approve and add to cart. From here, you can also take a picture to show your customer. And then you got to, um, if you don't know how to take a screenshot of your computer, it's called like the snippet tool. If you don't know what the snipping tool is, go on your search bar and click and search snippet snipping tool click on open and it will tell you right there what to uh, how to do it so you just got to click your windows key plus shift plus s all right windows the shift key plus the s so windows shift and s then you will have this right here this cross and all you will have to do is make like a rectangle Let it go and it took a picture. So then you're gonna click on that and save this. And name and click on save. This is just to take a picture if you want to use the customer, right? Now, if you approve, add it to the cart. You put, um, click on it, everything. I love it, and add to the cart. Once it's in the cart, make sure to check for coupons up here to add those um, coupons of whatever they have during that week. Also, make sure that you see the shipping dates because they are taking very long to ship. I'm not mistaken. I think I ordered mine like around June 3rd or June 4th. And I received it today, um, June 15th, all right? So just make sure that before you purchase, you see it. So if you can see, if you go down here, it'll tell you, like, if you order it today, it arrives between Sunday, uh, June 20th through June 24th with the economy shipping. Like, make sure you look at this just depending on your event. You can pay for express shipping and stuff like that, all right? Once you do all that, you're just going to go to your cart and proceed and make a payment. And that's basically all you do. Now, if you also want to do a mock-up or show your customer on how um, everything looks, you can go back to Silhouette because you can actually show your customer this. But if you actually want to show them, um, like, you know, like how the actual place is going to look, you're going to go to Merge, you're going to go to File and Merge and look for the image that we saved that we took that um, screenshot from. So this is the image that we took the picture of. As you can see, it looks like the plate, but we still got this white background around it. So what you would do is you will grab the oval shape on your uh, left and make an oval around it. Let me color it black so y'all can see it. And make sure you write at the circle. Alright, select them both, 
and go to modify panel and click on crop and there you have it that's going to look like an actual plate you can put like a wood background here so this is just a quick mock-up guys so let's go to google and look up wood background right click copy image go into silhouette right click and paste and gonna make this the same size of my paper I'm going to send this to the back put this right here you can right click and duplicate it to make two or three plates can put like a little rectangle here and color it the color of your choice go to your A on your left and put custom party All right, yeah, I get the point of how to do a mock-up. And you're going to keep adding your logos and stuff like that. Now, if you want to share this all around social media, again, you need to save this as a JPEG or a PNG. You don't even need to save it as a PNG. Save it as a JPEG. Now, you can also take a screenshot of this, and you're going to save it and log into your social media, Facebook or Instagram, and then share this all around to, to let them know that, hey, you're making custom party plates. Or you can add this mock-up into Etsy. Um, if you're customizing party plates or you can send this image to your customer and how the party plates are going to look. All right. So now I know a lot of people also don't log in through their social media, through their laptop or computer. So how will you upload this? If you don't have social media, on your computer or laptop, you need to make sure that you save the image still. Then you're going to go log into your email from your computer and email this to yourself and then open your email from your phone, save the picture on your phone and then post it on social media. All right. Hope all that makes sense. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment down below any questions you have. And I'll, I'll make sure I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you the actual clips because I did just receive them today. And I'm going to show you how they All right, guys. Here is the final results. They already come packaged for you. All you got to do is ship them to your customers. That is one thing I can say is have them ship them to you then you ship them to your customers you need to make sure that everything looks correct before you ship them to your customers also if you are on facebook feel free to join my crafting group it is called andrina creations crafting lounge i would love to see if you create any of these plates. i would love to see all your work feel free to message me on facebook and instagram if you would like to order anything from me at andrina creations llc if you don't have social media feel free to email me andrina creations at yahoo.com if you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload new videos. We're on the road to 50K, guys. Right now, we are 45K, and thank you so much for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.